I play the lotto all the time, which I think it has a lot to do with the fact that he even bought a ticket to begin with. And so once he gets his ticket, the, the quest is to keep it, of course, for two or three days, which is a long time in this neighborhood because all the doors are open. Everybody's very close-knit. And I have a very nosy neighbor who listens through the walls. And I didn't call him. He forced me to tell him what happened about the ticket. And once it's out, there's no turning back. And I feel so bad about it because I promised my baby I wouldn't tell a soul and I end up telling. And the entire neighborhood finds out about it. And from then until we get the money, if we get the money, it's, it's everything is up in the air from that point on. It's like hell week in the hood. <laughs> Brandon is the kind of actor that will you want to choke him at all times, which was great. That was great for my character. That was great for Grandma. He was such a bad little boy. He was always over there eating all my food, and and setting a bad example for my grandson. And uh, sometimes I couldn't tell him from the character. He's a wonderful actor, and everything that he does seems so genuine and so real. And I think um, the success of the movie, of course, depends on Bow Wow because. He brings a maturity, and uh, he's such a handsome young man, and uh, you just fall in love with him. I think it, it, it could be a, a great family film. I think it's the kind of film where if you want to just come and have a good evening and laugh and go, oh, I would have done that or I would have never done that, it's the kind of movie you'd re enjoy seeing. It reminds you a little bit of the, the, those old Friday and Friday 2 movies where it was a community and everybody was going amok and everybody knew everybody. And this movie has such interesting characters in it. Uh, my neighbor is just off the chain. And we have the minister at the church and, and, and the girl next door. Everybody has these weird dreams and this weird behavior. And the four or five kids that hang out on the corner, they're all just, uh, they're all jewels that people really enjoy seeing.